Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at a Fidget Batman Dual Spinner. We're going to create this uh, design and create in SolidWorks. So let's get started. First we're going to start off with a rectangle and it's going to be a center rectangle. It's going to be 78 millimeters uh, wide and 36 millimeters high. Uh, next we're going to go ahead and click on that features extruded boss base create a 3D solid object. Then we're going to turn that normal to us uh, by clicking on the front surface and we're going to cut a circle right in the middle of it, 22.2 millimeters. Again, uh, the 608 skateboard bearing is 22 millimeters. The reason we make it a little bit larger, 0.22, is because as the plastic extrudes in the 3D printer, it spreads a little bit. So we're going to try to uh, allow for that little bit of spreading by creating this a little bit bigger. Still, it's going to be a pretty tight fit. I'll go ahead and uh, click on uh, Features Extruded uh, Cut to cut a hole in that. And then next we're going to create uh, a linear pattern. And we're going to put uh, a hole on either side here by creating uh, or by selecting this top edge uh, for direction 1 and then selecting 2 and then uh, the top edge again for direction 2 and then again selecting 2. And that way we'll have a hole on either side and uh, we're going to have a 25 uh, millimeter distance between uh, the center of these two to give that little bit of uh, space there for our plastic so that we're, uh, we'll create a little bar here. So we'll go ahead and select the uh, uh, OK on the pattern 2. Both our holes are cut. Uh, next we're going to try to fillet these upper uh, corners uh, to try to give it a little bit more of a, a wing shape. And we're going to use an 18 uh, millimeter uh, radius. Uh, 1818 is going to be 36 so that will meet the uh, total width. Uh, next we'll just uh, go ahead and select it, or that edit by clicking on this green uh, check mark and accepting that. Our corners are cut. Uh, next we're going to have to make some cuts in some of this material here to give it kind of a Batman shape. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sketch on this surface uh, a few circles. Uh, you can see I've selected a couple lar large ones here, create a couple large ones at 15 millimeters and then a small one at 6 millimeters to kind of outline this uh, head of the bat. And then down here I put a couple of circles uh, 10 millimeters each, spaced them at 5.25 to provide that tail. And go ahead and accept that. That cuts out that. And you can see we're, cutting, we're starting to get kind of a Batman shape. Uh, next we want to do a couple more circles to kind of help shape these wings uh, a little bit more. Up here we put a couple of circles, uh, six. Uh, dimension them at three from that top edge. Down here we had 14. Uh, started right here in the center of, uh, of this uh, shape. And go ahead and accept that and cut those out. You can see it's starting to form a little bit better uh, a Batman shape. Uh, still have a little bit more cutting we're going to do here. So down here at the bottom we're just going to cut a little bit deeper in here to help shape that wing a little bit better. Go ahead and accept that. And you can see we got a pretty good pretty good shape now for our wing but we want to smooth off some of these edges so we're going to use the fillet. And this is a fillet of 20 millimeters just going to round that down, round that down and round that down and then round that down. Be sure to just select the edges to do that. And you can see we've got a pretty good uh, pretty good Batman shape now. Now what we want to do is uh, uh, do a fillet on these little sharp edges. This is a real small fillet, just point 0.1, just to kind of clip those uh, sharp edges off so on the printing it uh, prints a little bit easier. Uh, next we're going to have to fillet this top edge Go ahead and accept that and then fill it this top edge. And again, this is 7 uh, millimeters thick. So we're going to use a 3.5 millimeter both on the top and the back uh, to kind of round this off so it's, it has a little bit better shape to it. Accept that and you can see we've got a nice uh, rounded, rounded edge all the way around and even on the top of the head here. So uh, that uh, pretty much completes... Uh, this fidget Batman dual spinner creation in SolidWorks. Next all we need to do is add some bearings. We pop in a bearing here in the middle. Uh, usually use a, either a, a, 
probably a red bearing or a, this looks like a yellow jacket and then we put a couple of cheaper bearings on the outside and that much pretty much finishes it up uh, thanks for watching uh, we'll be sure to create some more here soon thanks again